the news network for the people, combating the mainstream media. Wuhan coronavirus could cause male infertility. A Chinese study finds it could do heavy damage to the male reproductive system. As scientists race to unravel the mysteries of the Wuhan coronavirus in an effort to stem its spread, a Chinese study has found the disease could lead to male infertility. Fan Caben, a urologist at Nanjing Medical University affiliated Suzhou Hospital, on February 12th posted the results of a scientific research project which found that the disease not only damages the lungs, but also the kidneys and the testes, potentially leading to male infertility. The team summarized the clinical data of three previous studies, which included 6 patients, 41 patients, and 99 patients respectively. Now what the study did find is that the kidney dysfunction occurs in 3-10% to of the novel coronavirus infection, also known as the COVID-19. In addition, acute damage to the kidneys occurs in 7% of the patients. As for the disease's effect on the male urinary tract and reproductive system, the research team used an online data set to analyze the expression of the angiotensin converting enzyme 2, also known as ACE2, the receptor the virus uses as a host. SARS is known to use ACE2 to enter and infect human cells, and COVID-19 appears to be using the same method. Now the study found that ACE2 highly expresses in renal tubular cells, Leydig cells, and cells in semi-inferior ducts and testes. Their findings indicate that the virus may directly bind to ACE2 positive cells and inflict damage to patients' kidneys and testicular tissue. Now, the researchers did warn that in some cases, the testicular damage caused by the virus may lead to male infertility and testicular tumors. The scientists pointed out that HIV, HBV, and mumps can enter testicular cells and cause vital orchitis, which is inflammation of the testicles. The researchers added that orchitis has also been found to be a complication of SARS infections, potentially affecting the production of sperm. The research team then concluded that during during the treatment of COVID-19, doctors should pay attention to the risk of testicular lesions. After patients recover from the COVID-19, doctors should carry out an evaluation of the reproductive functions, especially young male patients, wrote the researchers. 